Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an unboxing and it is 100% a YouTube made me do it purchase. And for this purchase, I have my good friend to blame from Snow7707. Hey girl, you know what you did. She's such a babe. I watch her channel all the time and I love her unboxings. And when I saw her unbox this bag on her channel, it was one of those um, pause the video, open a new tab, go to the website, purchase the bag, and go back, finish watching her video. That is literally what happened. I even commented commented on her video below and I said, you know what, you just made me buy this bag right now. So I highly recommend her channel. I will leave it down below in the description box and let's jump right into this bag. Ginormous dust bag, very thick. Dun -dun -dun the kabata tote and it is in the large size so what happened is that this bag went on a huge sale it was just such a steal and i will let you know what the price was for retail and what i got it for um after i show you all the ins and outs of the bag so i am really really happy that i scored this bag i got it from my neiman's i love neiman marcus it is my favorite store to shop out. I always found I always find the best deals and the hardest to find items at my Neiman's. I know lots of people like Nordstrom and Saks and so many other different great stores out there, but I just love my Neiman's. And you know what? Let's just get right into it. It is a 100% full leather bag, which I love. It is a tote bag. I love tote bags. And I've always wanted to buy a Neverfull. But I don't know. There's always been something just holding me back from buying Neverfolds. I don't know what it is. Something about a Neverfold just doesn't sit right with me as much as I love the look of Neverfolds. I've always been tempted, but I never pulled the trigger. And I've always admired this bag as well. But when I saw the price tag, I was like, you know what? I don't really want to pay that price for the Kapata tote when I know that it's so close to the price of a Neverfold. It's pretty much the same price uh, Maybe just a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars shy from the price of a Neverfull. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to spend that kind of money for it because, you know, it's just that's just how I feel about you know how certain brands um, are are priced in the in the market. So this bag I think is better than a Neverfull just because it's 100% leather and it has a gorgeous red interior on the side, like a lot of you probably know. This is what it looks like. The red interior is to die for. It comes with a pouch. This is what the pouch looks like. And it has a ring here on the inside that you can detach the pouch from. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this is what the piece of hardware looks like. It's gunmetal hardware and it's shiny, which I love. That is so new to my collection. I don't have anything in gunmetal hardware. This is what the zipper pull looks like. It has that, you know, red bottom of a shoe right there. So cute and new and fresh and different to a lot of things out there. It's pebbled leather, feels really, really soft. The zipper is buttery smooth. And that is what the interior looks like. There's just the paperwork that comes with it. And the interior is some kind of fabric. It's not leather. So the outside is leather and the interior is like kind of like a fabric. It's not a microfiber and it's not a cotton twill either. I'm not exactly sure what this leather, I'm sorry, what this interior is, but it seems to be durable. And so that's the little pouch right there that comes with it, similar to the pouch that you get with the Neverfold. It's completely flat. It does have glazing on the side, but the glazing looks really good to me. No issues whatsoever. So you have both. You have stitching and glazing. That's that. Um, let me show you a close-up of the details. These are the gunmetal studs, which I am so in love with this hardware. The straps are leather too. So black leather on one side and then the red leather on the other side. 
And then this is what the bottom of the bag looks like, which is another gorgeous detail that makes me feel like, oh, this is just so different from the Neverfull, you know, and it's kind of not seen as much as Neverfulls are seen. So, you know, to me, that that's something. It might not be important to um, other people whether a bag is is very common in the on the streets or not most of the time it doesn't bother me because it just says that it's a really good bag if you see a lot of it around but to me I I don't know that that particular issue kept me from buying a Neverfull so like I said when this came up for for the price that I got it for I just couldn't pass it up the bottom is like rubber and it's hard so it doesn't need any type of base shaper it won't sag it has the little signature stamp right there Christian Louboutin and it seems pretty durable to me so it is kind of carved and it just looks really really nice the red is super super chic and just black with red and gunmetal studs really really edgy and modern I love this bag it's called the Kabata tote so that's again well that's what the inside looks like i hope you guys have a good view so the bag does say quick look into the inside of the bag you got a hook right here on one side or a clasp that you can use to close your bag from the top and that's the hook there on the other side it also says made in italy stamped there on that side of the bag and that is the d-ring that you use to attach the pouch to I would like to note that the inside of the bag is fully leather lined in red leather. It's pebbled on the sides and then the bottom is completely smooth and then you can see the stitching all around. That's another plus for this bag is that it, the interior is not fabric so it will be easier to clean and maintain compared to a fabric lined tote. That's the outside again, it's the front, the back or I don't think it has a front or a back. I think they're both identical. I showed you guys the straps and also the bottom of the bag. Okay, now let's get into price, which is what made me jump on this bag. This Kabata tote retails for $13.50. And... I bought it for, you see that, 608 How crazy is that? If that's not a good deal, I don't know what is. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Neemans. Please don't go bankrupt. Please stay in business. I love my Neemans. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I get the best deals there. I can always find like rare items from Chanel. I can get my essay there, you know, to put my name down and hold them for me when they come in. All of the things that people keep complaining and saying that, oh, you can't get, you know, the classic Chanel Espadilles in the black or the beige uh, black uh, two-tone the, with the toe cap. You can't find those. There's a, those are never in stock. Well, I just walked into Neiman's and bought them and she had them like in all different sizes. She even got me a new one from the box that had never been tried on. So I don't know why people keep saying that things are hard to find and then I just walk into Neiman's and I can find them. So I love that store so much and I hope it stays in business and doesn't go anywhere as I, I hope for all of the businesses, you know, to do well. Uh, but especially Neiman's because it does hold a place in my heart. Now let's get into a bag swap. The reason I have these two bags pulled out right now is because this is going to be my new work bag. And I was using, these are my two other work bags, by the way. So this is kind of my work bag family right here. This bag right here is what I've been currently using for work. So I'm going to do a quick uh, bag swap and move my things from this bag. To this so I just wanted to round up my favorite bags for work right here in this video because I thought you know it was a good time to do it and just show you what I think are the three best bags for work hands down obviously if I had a Neverfull I think it would probably make that list as well but in my case because I don't have a Neverfull so I can't include that but if you're looking for a great work bag just consider one of these all right, let's do the bag swap right now. 
Okay guys, can we see? This is the current situation going on in my work bag and I'm going to attempt to move all of this into this bag right here. Let's see how it goes. Quick size comparison. In the back we have the Cabada Tote in the large size. In the front we have the Louis Vuitton on the go tote in the MM size. And as you guys can tell, hopefully, the Capata tote in the large size is definitely bigger. It is taller and wider um, than the on the go tote in the MM size. So I would assume, not having an Everfull, that the Capata tote in the large size is comparable to the MM Neverfull because it is a tad bit bigger than the on the go tote in the MM size. This is what the bag looks like after I transferred everything that I had in my on-the-go tote to the inside of this bag. And as you can see, there's still tons of room. It is very spacious just because of how it kind of, you know, tapers to outwards as it goes um, upwards. So it ends up having like a larger opening at the top and just like more capacity than the on-the-go tote, which gives you more privacy. I like that sleeker look. But this bag, because it kind of has that gaping opening, it gives you a more casual vibe, which is perfect for work as well. This is what the pouch looks like after I attached the strap to the D-ring to make it into like a little wristlet, which you can do and just use this um, by itself as a little pouch if you're going out, which is super cute. I love that little red sole there at the top, so adorable. So that's the pouch and I got my work keys in there. And last but not least, I wanna give a shout out to Target for these sunglasses. These were 14 bucks and they are amazing. And I wanted to show you guys this little strap right here of pearls that you can attach onto your sunglasses. I got this from Amazon and I'll show you what they look like after I put them on. These are the sunglasses with the pearl strap attached to them so cute you can find some really really good finds on amazon as you probably all know so this is what's going into the pouch as well so they won't get lost in my bag all right and that's what it looks like it's not too bulky. I really do like it. That can go in there as well. And that is the final product. That is what it looks like. I am now ready for the new week with my new tote bag. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a while before I change out of it. Anyhow... That was my little unboxing for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until I see you again in my next video, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up, stay safe, wear your mask, all that good stuff. That's a lot, right? Anyway, <laughs> I hope it's not too much to ask of everybody. Stay safe, people. Until I see you next time. Bye.